How do you measure an object and find its measurement to the nearest whole number? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the length of an object by using the spaces on a ruler. Let's review. A whole number can be divided into halves. Let's see this on a number line. The space between number 3 and 4 on a number line equals one whole space. If we divide this space evenly, we have one half on the left side of the divider mark and we have one half on the right side of the divider mark. One half plus one half is two halves. There are two halves in one whole. As we start from the three and move a half space forward towards the four, we will land on three and one half. Then from there, as we move another half space forward, we land on the four. A common misunderstanding some students have is thinking that measurements are always exact. We can see the red highlighting showing exactly two. Then we can see the yellow highlighting showing more than one and one half and almost two. Since the measurement is just a little less than two and is more than one and one half, we can say that this measurement is almost two. How do we measure to halves? Using our ruler, we can mark our halves. On this ruler, highlighted in blue, we can see one half, one, one and one half, two, two and one half, three, three and one half, four, four and one half, five, five and one half, and six. Using these marks, we would be able to measure objects to the nearest one half. Using the one half mark on a ruler helps us to see if the object we are measuring is closer to one whole number or the other. Let's measure this pencil from our desk. Let's first mark our ruler with the pencil's length using these blue lines. We can see that the pencil is more than two inches and more than two and one half inches long. We can also see that the pencil is less than three inches long. Is the pencil closer to the two inches mark on the ruler or the three inches mark on the ruler? Right, the pencil is more than two and one half, which makes it closer to three inches than two inches. We can say that this pencil is about three inches long. Let's measure this marker. Looking at our marker, we can see that it is more than five inches long. We can also see that the marker is less than six inches long. The marker is not quite five and a half inches long. Is the marker closer to five inches or six inches? Yes, the marker is closer to five inches long. We can say that the marker is about five inches long. Let's measure this crayon using centimeters. Our ruler does not begin with zero, but that's okay. We can still find its measurement. Let's first mark our ruler with the crayon's length using these blue lines. Next, we need to count the spaces on the ruler to find out the true measurement. We know the crayon is not really almost 19 centimeters long since the ruler does not begin with zero. From the beginning of the ruler to the number 11 is one space. From 11 to 12 is two spaces. From 12 to 13 is three spaces. We keep counting the spaces until we reach the end of the crayon. We can see that the crayon is nine whole spaces long and then some. There is a little more to measure. That little more of a space is not one whole space. It's less than one half of a space. Is the crayon closer to the number 19 on the ruler or the number 20? Yes, it's closer to the number 19, which we know is nine whole spaces. We can say that the crayon is almost nine whole centimeters long. Let's measure this large paper clip using centimeters. We can use our ruler starting from the other side to measure. Just as we did with the crayon measurement, we need to find out how many centimeters long this paper clip is by counting the spaces. From the edge of the ruler to almost seven is how many centimeters? Well, let's count the spaces and see. We can see that there are one, two, three, four, 
five whole spaces. Sorry, four whole spaces. This paper clip is four whole centimeters and then some. It's a little bit longer than four centimeters. Is it closer to the one whole space more? Would you say that the paper clip is closer to the number eight on the ruler or the number seven? Yes, it's closer to the number seven. It's almost one whole space longer. We can say that the paper clip is about five centimeters long. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the length of an object by using the spaces on a ruler.